We're here at the Hawaii Dermatology Seminar where I'm speaking with Dr. Sheila Fallon Friedlander, President of the Society for Pediatric Dermatology, about what is new and happening in the area of infantile hemangiomas. Uh, you've said that uh, propranolol has really matured and arrived as a therapy. Yes, Bruce, we're really excited about this therapy because we now have a lot of data, thousands of children who've been treated and we have a much better sense of number one how good it is and number two how relatively safe it is so this is probably the most important therapeutic advance that's occurred in pediatric dermatology in the last several years it's been a great move forward for us so the uh, the concern and the skepticism have melted away well we need still to be careful anytime you're giving a drug that has systemic effects on a child you need to be careful but we realize now that when used appropriately and with appropriate monitoring, children will do well. It is rare to have an adverse effect if it's used properly. So educating the families on how to give it and knowing the right dosing, uh, doing the right monitoring is important, but it is now the drug of first choice for hemangiomas that need to be treated with systemic therapy. And yet there's something even newer and really quite exciting. Tell me about it. Yeah. Well, one, one word I should say about um, propranolol, I want to make sure that anyone who's using it with children realizes that those children need to be monitored um, for their pulse and blood pressure initially and if dosing changes. And the families need to be warned about hypoglycemia because if the children don't eat properly, then they can have low blood sugars while on propranolol. But um, yes, the, the new excitement is about timolol. Because when you think about propranolol, you love it, but there's still a little bit of a worry about side effects. What if you had a topical formulation, something that you could put on the skin rather than giving systemically? And we do have that. That's timolol, which is a topical beta blocker. It's been used for decades for glaucoma in adults and in children. And because it's been used in little babies for so long, we already have a good sense of the safety profile for this drug. So we're very excited about this. Now, the thing about timolol is you can't use it for a really big, thick hemangioma, uh, but in the smaller hemangiomas, in the thinner lesions, especially when hemangiomas are young, they start out generally smaller and grow, it appears to be a very useful therapy with a great safety profile. So the advantage is uh, no systemic uh, no systemic um, exposure. Uh. Right. Now, with one caveat, you know, we're always with our caveats, people are still concerned about very tiny babies in whom you might be putting a lot on. So we know that when you look at a drop of Timolol, it's very strong. Relative to propranolol, it's, it's very strong. The point is that it most usually doesn't get absorbed to a significant effect, but it, if you bathed a baby in it, if you used a lot of it, particularly on a little preemie, you, you could theoretically have systemic side effects. So we do caution people not to use a whole lot. We use a drop twice a day uh, on children, but we don't monitor them. Um, and it, they're, the side effects, I mean, there's a theoretical concern, but to my knowledge, there hasn't been a child in, with a hemangioma in whom it's been used that there's been a significant problem. Is Timolol um, sufficiently low risk and simple to use that you foresee it being used uh, by primary care docs? I do believe that there will come a time, again this is my theoretical, that, um, that but again a caveat, I, we are doing, there's a big study that's about to be initiated where we'll get lots of numbers we'll have it controlled. So we'll have children on placebo and children on the drug, and then we'll monitor them carefully and look for side effects. And if, once we get this kind of data, the same way we now have for propranolol, and if it bears out in the way that I think it will, I can foresee that as soon as something develops on a child, particularly on the face, that healthcare providers could give the family a prescription for this drug. So they could start using it while the lesion is thin and small. That's where the, the beauty, the great usefulness of Timolol is when it's used on a younger or thinner lesion. And that's where it seems to have the best efficacy. So we want to start it early. It's an exciting prospect.